I am so excited to be in Colombia for my first time here with Colombian residents, my friend Natalia Franco Villegas. How are you? I'm Great good. To see you. I'm so excited to see you here. Yeah, I've read about Colombian cycling for so long, watched it on television, watched it on race videos. <laughs> excited to ride it for the first time, but I wanted to get from you what your top five things are about cycling in Colombia. But before we get that, let's talk a little bit about what your experience is because you've raced all around the world. You grew up here, have raced here. I also know you from Colorado, where you were at uh, Colorado Mesa, yes. then University of Tennessee, mm -hmm. degree in sports psychology. You were in, also at the UCI's headquarters in Switzerland. Yes, in two years. Switzerland, <laughs> racing there. How was yeah. that? Amazing. I think I, luckily, I've been, yeah, as you said, all over. I had the opportunity to race 10 years out of Colombia, uh, doing my uh, undergrad, my master's, and then uh, do the two years with the World Cycling Center. Mm -hmm. um, and it's amazing to see the evolution of, you know, living here, you don't value as much what you have. Sure. Then you leave and see other things, other ways, and then you come back and you're like, wow, Colombia is <laughs> really amazing. So it's, it's been fun. It's been a, a fun journey and a lot of growth as well. Sure, sure. So <laughs> having grown up here, traveled the world, raced, now come back, what are your top five things? Let's start five <laughs> and count down. Okay. Numero cinco. Numero cinco. I love that you see cyclists everywhere. Okay. Like, you you can be in different climbs and there's thousands of cyclists. Thousands. Like, big groups, small females, lots mm -hmm. of women alone. Mm -hmm. It's really cool to see. Mm -hmm. And it's always fun to tag along and, you know, give some extra power to pass certain people. And it's always fun. Absolutely. <laughs> Numero cuatro. Numero cuatro. Um, amazing views. Mm. you always gonna get like the mountains there's something else like you just cannot video or photograph the magnitude of the mountains I'm going to try what are your some <laughs> of your favorite places what are some of the best views like if you could do if you could tell people that this is the this is the one ride to do where would you send them oh it's it's so hard you know <laughs> like because for example we have epic palmas which is a 16k climb and 16K. you overlook the whole city. <laughs> oh boy. And it's just stunning. It's beautiful. Like if you have a clear day, it's beautiful. But okay. there's also the virgin side of mountains. So yes. you have places like the Southeast, which is also green, like vast. We have the biggest natural pyramid in the world. Okay. So it's a mountain that's perfectly pointy. It's beautiful. So. You have to come back and, and do will. more. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for my second visit already. Yes. So, Natalia's top five things, all the cyclists, great views. Y numero tres. Numero tres. Oh, I have to say bakeries. All Co right. Coffee shops, bakeries. Yeah. Like in the US, you usually have your one and only gas station you're going to stop at. Yes. <laughs> or take your bunch of food and drinks and or even a water filter. But here, man, you can go without anything and mm. you will find fresh bread, fresh pastries, like snacks, fresh coffee, like amazing. Yes. <laughs> What's, what pastry should I order while I'm here? Oh, you need to try almohabana, which is a cheese, like made out of cheese. There's pan de bono, there's pan de yuca. Oh, you need to try it all. Okay. <laughs> there's some with guava and cheese inside. Guava and cheese. Yeah, there's all kinds of okay. croissants with stuff on it. Like, okay. it's something else. Okay. <laughs> the cyclists, the views, the eats. Yes. Numero dos. Numero dos. I have to say, um, the friendliness of the people mm. like it's just so nice like if you have a problem or something everyone is gonna stop help you like you're climbing and people are screaming at you vamos vamos or they scream Nairo or Rigo <laughs> like people are so passionate with cycling that no matter if you are the guy that just goes on the weekends or mm. the pro they're gonna be cheering you on respecting you and admiring you mm -hmm. that's wonderful yeah. that's mm -hmm. wonderful Natalia has won the three-day Transcordilleras race. We're doing this together this week. Hopefully together. Hopefully I'll be able to see you in the distance of as you course. disappear up You're the Of course. You're so strong. Yes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to riding with you. 
your final thing of the top five? Numero uno, I want to say, <laughs> it's just like the, like how cool we have all the climbs and also downhills. So mm -hmm. we have in Colombia 80K climbs or even longer. Like I just did one, it was like 86, like gravel road, like whatever you want. And just how challenging it is going up it, it's amazing going down it. So I, I have to say like the versatility, is that a word? Yeah, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Of the, of the country. Yeah, so or the variety. That's, that's yeah. so cool, yeah. Yeah, the steepness Challenges. is incredible. <laughs> like I, again, like I've read about it for years, I've watched videos, I've seen photos, but then it's like going up to Casa Safedi last yes. night. <laughs> I thought we were going to yes. tip over backwards. Like, oh, oh that's my normal. gosh. Yeah, and this is flat. Yeah. <laughs> you be ready for what's on tap. <laughs> Maybe uh, one more cappuccino before we start. But thank you so much. Great to see you. You're welcome. Follow Let's Natalia on the socials. Enjoy together. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs>